Local lawmakers also keeping a very close eye on this unfolding situation. In fact, the topic brought Congressman Mike Turner to our studios earlier today. Dan Edwards continues our team coverage with his take. With the threat of sequester, the threat of furloughs at Wright Patterson Air Force Base, uh, this could not be a more critical time. Congressman Mike Turner stopped by our studios today to talk about the looming 10% across the board sequestration cuts coming to the base. Uh, Turner says the Department of Defense now predicts some 800,000 civilian employees will begin furloughs as early as April. I think the translation of that has been that we have about 13,000 jobs at risk at Wright Patterson Air Force Base. Turner says right now the implementation timeline is fuzzy, but under federal law, employees must receive a 30-day notice before furloughs can be issued. The president has gambled with our national security. He's basically said, if you don't agree to cuts elsewhere or increase taxes, you know, we're going to do this uh, to our national security at a time when, of course, the world is not a safe place. But the president says it's Congress, not him, that have pushed us to this point, and he doesn't want the military to suffer either. These cuts are not smart. They are not fair. They will hurt our economy. Right on recess this week, Turner says his constituents are frustrated over over Congress's um, inability to compromise, to which Turner says is simple brinksmanship, a dangerous game of pushing events to the verge of disaster. At this point, I think they're very far apart on coming to a solution. So the question now in this high-stakes game, who will blink first? In brinksmanship, you, you usually have each of the parties with a defined position. In this instance, the House has done its homework. We've delivered our bills. The Senate hasn't done their homework, and neither has the President. Until they get their work done, there's going to be no ability to come to a solution. Dan Edwards, 2 News. And it's also important, we think, to note that uh, with these cuts loom finger pointing, it's part of a deal to raise the debt ceiling that occurred back in 2011. Congress only agreed to raise the ceiling if the move was balanced with cuts. So it created, you might recall back then, that super committee to find $1.2 trillion in reductions. That committee was half Democrat, half Republican, with Senator Rob Portman, the only Ohio representative. But the committee never came to agreement, so now the cuts will be automatic starting March 1st.